Hey everyone, this is Kevin from themathworld.com and today we're going to be going over a trick how to square numbers that end in 5. And it's super simple, but let's take our first example, 45 squared, or 45 times 45, however you may see it. All you have to do anytime you have a number ending in 5 squared is you first are going to write down 25. Then you're going to take your first number, in this case it's 4, and you're going to multiply it by the next highest number. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. You're going to multiply 4 times 5. And 4 times 5 is 20, so you just write down 20. And this is your answer, 2025. And we'll go ahead and take a look at a few more examples. Let's take a look at 65 squared. Again, the first thing we're going to do, anytime you see two numbers squared and it ends in 5, you're going to write down 25. And then 6 times 7, the next highest number, 6 times 7 is 42. So you write down 42. And this is your answer, 4,225. And we'll look at another one here. Let's do 95, a bigger one squared. 95 squared. Anytime you see this, you just write down 25. And 9 times the next highest number is 10. 9 times 10 is 90. So 95 squared is 9,025. It's that simple. And even if you see a larger number, let's say 115 squared, you can still do it with this number too. So 115 squared, again, anytime you see this, you just write down 25. Now it's just 11 times 12. So if you have this memorized you can just write this down or if you have a trick that you want to do if you know how to multiply by 11 but 11 times 12 is 132. So you just write that down and you have 13,225 and this is going to work even if you have a much larger number. So if we have 22 225 squared, you can just write down 25, and you can just do 22 times 23. And I don't know it off the top of my head, but 22 times 23 is 6, 0, so 50,625. It's going to work with anything you do. You just write down 25, and then you take this number, multiply it by the next highest number, and that's going to give you the answer. And that's an easy way to square any number that ends in 5. So if you guys haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. And if you haven't checked out the website, themathworld.com. Thanks for watching, everybody.